What is up guys, Expert Winner here, but in call me Dominic, we are back here with WWE 2K20, my career mate. Uh, so, last time we left off, we won the women's money in the bank, and Carmella threw our money in the bank in the garbage truck. So, now it's time to choose what we want. The traditional women's money in the bank, the red themed money in the bank, or the covered in stained Rusev bitches. I'm gonna go with the red themed money in the bank. Let's do this. We've all heard the saying, don't write checks that your mouth can't cash. Well, after last night, there's a new version. Don't write checks that your briefcase can't cash in after Carmella destroys it with a garbage truck. It really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? Sorry, Red, but I proved what everyone already knew. Mella is money. And you'll always be trash. It's red, and it appears she has the new accessory. Um, what is that? Did you make your own briefcase? Real cute, but I think you need to take your DIY and go DIY. Bye. I'm not going anywhere. Because it's not the briefcase that matters. It's more symbolic than anything. What really matters is the contract inside that's good for a title match at any time. And I still have that, thanks to my disgusting yet loyal friend. There's no way this is legit. Actually, Randy Orton just signed off on it. So it's official. You can't do this. I destroyed your briefcase. This should not be happening. Sorry, princess, but it is. So what do you say we finish what we started? Are we cashing in already? Jeez, all right, let's go. I don't know about this. Carmella got the best of Red just 24 hours ago, and now Red might be setting herself up for a repeat. That could certainly happen, but throughout the years, Money in the Bank briefcase holders have cashed in at a highly successful rate. Let's see if Red can continue that trend here tonight. All right, so we're gonna have a match against Carmella. Let's do this. All right, please let me win. All right, uh, win the match by pinfall or submission. All right, let's do this. All right. Oh, super kick already. Go for the cover. Dang it. <laughs> oh, hello. Please don't hurt me. How the hell did you hit me? All right, let's go, Camilla. Nice heel kick. Missed. Oh no, I got her. All right. You know what? I'm gonna change this maneuver. I don't like it. So yeah. All right. Beautiful. Let's do the people's moonsault. Let's do this. People's moonsault coming right up. People's moon so let's go. Alright. Well, what do you want, Carmella, hey? In the corner. In the corner. Beautiful drop kick. Heads to the other corner. I thought I changed that. Oh well, who cares? Might have to change it. Oh, missed it. Irish whip. Reversal by red, it looks like. Yep. Straight into the ribs of Carmella. Oh, strikes right there. Carmella takes me down. And we're going to roll to the apron as Carmella taunts in our face. I reverse that, who cares? Alright, 
for any shortcuts Carmella might take. All right. Okay, let's go, Camilla. There's the reversal. Nice meteora. Oh, I'm gonna roll out, are we, eh? It's right, I can fly. Yeah. Alright, come on, let's go. Alright, get up. Go in the ring. All right, what's she looking for? Looking for the poison runner. Going for the cover. One, two, oh, only two. Nice swan time right there. Go to second row for the best moonsault ever. There you go. Oh, misses a super kick. Beautiful DDT. Was not meant to do that DDT, but who cares? Alright, let's do a gut wrench power bomb. Pick her up. Oh, misses the super kick again. Oh no, dang it. Oh, reversal. Was not meant to do that, but poison rider. Alright, let's go. Come on, get up. Get up. Super kick. Alright, go for the cover. One. Two resiliency. I knew it. That's why I kept two. Right. Let's go. Get up. Get up. Let's go. Super kick again. It's the second one. I went for the cover. One, two, three, and here's your winner, Red. Let's go. say but you have to give some credit to her pal Trey who apparently went dumpster diving to salvage the money in the bank contract this is yet another tremendous achievement for Red to cross off the all right shares with Trey. Uh, it's increasingly I actually knows that uh, it doesn't mean you keep the briefcase to be honest I'll hang that briefcase on my wall it's a good briefcase all right win raw women's champion so we did that so let's move on and so it is with great honor that i induct the package deal red and trey into the wwe hall of fame <laughs> thank you thank you thank you wow <laughs> no wow Thank oh, you. Oh, this is incredible. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank All you. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. Almost 20 years ago, we were a couple of not so popular high school kids who bonded over our love of WWE and became best friends. But we never thought it was possible that someday we'd be WWE superstars ourselves, let alone stand on this stage tonight being honored as two of the very best of all time. By the way, I totally thought we could do it. He didn't. Going off script already, huh? Well, that didn't take long. Fine. Where was I? Here we go. But one day at lunch, we made a list. This piece of notebook paper would become the roadmap to our success in WWE. It contained our goals, hopes, and wildest dreams. And it changed everything. Over the years, we added a lot of new things to the list, and pretty much everything got crossed off except for one huge final achievement. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. And unless anyone in charge has a last minute change of heart, I think it's safe to say that will be crossed off in a little while. I'm not gonna say this is a bigger achievement for me than it is for my friend, but let's be honest. When I first got to WWE, not many of you thought I was Hall of Fame material. 
What he's trying to say is he wasn't exactly the most respected superstar in the locker room. <laughs> well, let's face it, no one other than you liked me. But a lot of that was my fault. I was brash and confident, but didn't have the experience to back it up. Sure, I had a universal title win, but it was mostly considered a fluke. And when it came to the list and my career goals, I really only cared about crossing off the fun things that came along with being a WWE superstar. Winning dance contests, getting an action figure, a cool t-shirt, being in a video game, a movie. <laughs> Which, of course, brings me to The Miz. What's up, buddy? I see you. <laughs> yeah. There were Do you say a lot of parallels between our personalities. Which explains why I wasn't that liked, and also why we made such good adversaries. I mean, who could forget our legendary battle over the lead role in Rank and File 4? Oh shit, oh. I was gonna say, I wonder what we're about to do, but... Looks like we're gonna leave that for the next episode. Thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see some more WWE 2K20 Mike Arima. So I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.